Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and would like to receive notifications of my future video postings, uh, please subscribe. A couple years ago, uh, I taught a cooking class about uh, cooking chicken. And during the class, I showed them how I prep chicken uh, in such a way so they could be available to me anytime I would like to have chicken. Uh, this method of prepping is based on the fact that uh, uh, I can slice the chicken into the size that I would like them for me to cook, and then I freeze them in small portions. So when I thaw them out, they could be thawed out very quickly, usually in about 10 minutes, uh, just in a sink of warm water. Uh, one of the students in the class, I would call him Dave uh, for the purpose of this video. Uh, he came up after class and told me that this is a great method. He loves chicken and uh, he's going to go home and cut up all his chicken and store it in this way. A couple of months later, I ran into him at a local coffee shop. Uh, we had a small conversation. I asked him how uh, is the cooking coming along. He told me that he loved uh, the method that how I show him to prep chicken. Uh, he has actually cut up all his chicken and he stored them in this particular fashion. Uh, he told me that he eats a lot of uh, salad. Uh, he used to uh, have a whole piece of chicken breast. Uh, he will thaw them out and usually take a couple hours. Uh, and then he will grill them uh, or pan fry them. And that usually takes another 15 to 20 minutes. And now he stored the chicken already cut up in the way how I have uh, shown during class. Uh, so now he could have chicken anytime he wants. Uh, normally I do not eat a lot of salad. And uh, after Dave described his method to me, I said that is just a wonderful way uh, to enjoy salad by adding a little bit of meat. So I went home and tried it. Uh, the method turned out to be great. Uh, both my wife really enjoy having the chicken, uh, first of all, uh, to be on the salad, and secondly, to have the chicken to be ready so quickly. Uh, so I decided to share uh, Dave's approach in this video. Uh, I'm going to first show you how he prepped the chicken. Uh, Dave told me that uh, he loved chicken so much, he actually found a place of a local uh, chicken producer, and he would buy a 40-pound uh, package of chicken. Uh, the great thing is that it is very expensive. He told me that it only costs one dollar a pound. Uh, the following is the uh, recreation of uh, uh, how he will prep his chicken. Uh, this is based on the method that I showed him during class. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to use my ceramic knife to prep the chicken. Uh, I don't know what kind of knife that he used, but for me, the ceramic knife is perfect for cutting chicken. Uh, if you'd like to know more about ceramic knife, uh, you can take a look at this video. Uh, I start out by uh, cutting the chicken into strips. The ceramic knife does a really good job. It pulls right through the chicken and separates them just like you cut through butter. Uh, and then I slice uh, the chicken uh, into pieces which I feel that is the best for stir fry. And at this piece, usually you can cook uh, about 8 ounces of chicken in less than a minute. Uh, however, you can cut the chicken in larger pieces. As long as you cut it in thin slices, uh, it should cook very rapidly. Uh, in my case, I usually store my chickens in an 8 ounce uh, Ziploc bag. Uh, this is about the size which is uh, uh, appropriate for most of the time. I weigh them out and uh, put them into Ziploc sandwich bag, uh, which is just about the right size. Uh, the key is that you want to freeze the chicken in as thin layer as possible. Uh, the ideal is to freeze them in a single layer, uh, as in this case, the egg unzip-lock sandwich bag is just perfect for that purpose. Uh, I will first press out as much air as possible, and then I will flatten the uh, chicken in the Ziploc bag after I seal it. And lastly, I uh, label uh, the date uh, on the, actually on the top edge of the Ziploc bag. And that seems to be the best place for you to uh, write it with a permanent marker. Uh, I first freeze them uh, in a, a flat position. Once they're frozen, I can store them in almost any way that I would like to. Uh, in my case, uh, because of my freezer have shelves on the door, so I can store them almost like files in a file cabinet. Uh, Dave told me that now uh, he could put together uh, chicken with uh, fresh salad uh, in less than about 15 minutes. Uh, he really enjoyed this approach uh, because it uh, uh, helped him to reduce his uh, 
fast food and processed food consumption. He told me that the first thing he will uh, do when he enters into the kitchen is that he will get out uh, one package of his uh, prep chicken from the freezer and then he will put it in a bowl of warm water or just in the sink and let the chicken to thaw out. Uh, during this time, uh, he will set up his uh, salad. Uh, he usually have most of the ingredients uh, uh, available through advanced prepping, so it only take him about a few minutes to gather all the materials that he need uh, to make the salad. Uh, by this time, his chicken will be already thawed out. Then he will uh, remove the chicken from the Ziploc bag and put it into a plastic container. Uh, quite often, he uh, will also maybe use a piece of paper towel to dry off any excess fluid might associate with the chicken uh, from the freezing. Uh, so for this demonstration, uh, I'm going to use my uh, Kusina 14-inch standard steel wok. Uh, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of uh, canola oil, just enough to cover the bottom of the wok after the wok has been heated up. Uh, I'm going to use my spot seasoning method, uh, which is to uh, let the oil to smoke gently for about 15 seconds. Now, if you are not familiar with this method, you can take a look at this video. Uh, Dave told me that uh, one of the uh, approach he uh, took is that using this as a basic template, and he make variations of how he stir fry the chicken. But his favorite is uh, to stir fry it with onion and jalapeno pepper. Uh, so first of all, he will stir fry the onion for about 10 seconds, and this is followed by the addition of uh, uh, jalapeno pepper. And he told me that he varies the amount he adds depending on what he has available on hand. He needs to uh, add the chicken to, uh, to the wok, and uh, he stir fry it for about 30 to 40 seconds. As you can see, the chicken cook very rapidly. And next, he will season the chicken uh, with uh, uh, lemon pepper, which he really enjoy, and then he followed this by uh, adding a little bit of uh, mushroom seasoning. Uh, by this point, uh, he will add a, just a touch of water because he want to create a light sauce, which could be used on the salad uh, rather than using salad dressing. Uh, the water works really well because it also dissolves whatever that might uh, have stuck to the bottom of the wok. Uh, this makes uh, the sauce with a greater flavor from the chicken, onion, and jalapeno pepper. Uh, after I cook the chicken, as uh, how they described to me, uh, I'm going to assemble a salad for dinner for my wife and I. Uh, I first put down a bed of uh, organic salad green that I purchased uh, from uh, the supermarket. Uh, they're already all cut up, so it is very convenient. I transfer the chicken on top of the salad first. Uh, I really like to have the uh, sauce in the chicken because that serves as a salad dressing. Uh, I next add some uh, sliced uh, tomato that come from my wife's garden onto the salad. Uh, this is followed by layering uh, some uh, sliced carrot uh, on top of the tomatoes. Uh, I then found some uh, uh, mushroom that I already chopped up uh, in the refrigerator, so I add them to the salad as well. Uh, since my wife loves cheese, and I have some uh, shaved Parmesan cheese, so that goes on top of the salad. Uh, the salad is done and uh, my wife and I sat down for dinner, and we really enjoy the salad with the chicken uh, stir-fry and mixing with the vegetables. Uh, so I would like to give a shout out uh, to Dave and thank him for giving me this idea uh, in stir-frying chicken uh, to put on a salad that I truly enjoy. Uh, I think the uh, most important advantage of uh, uh, this particular meal uh, is to provide a demonstration of uh, the value of uh, advanced prepping. Uh, by prep the chicken in advance uh, in such a way that it can be full and ready to stir fry rapidly uh, is a great uh, benefit. Uh, this view uh, truly uh, provides a demonstration of my fast cooking system uh, that by utilizing uh, flavor chasing, uh, to find the flavor that you want and advanced prepping, in this case the chicken as well as the ingredients for the salad, and stir frying that you can cook up the chicken very rapidly, and ultimately template-based cooking, uh, you can vary how you prepare the chicken. Uh, this provides a lot of flexibility uh, in how you create your meal. Uh, I have been posting my video regularly, usually about one each day. Uh, if you like to no receive notifications of my video postings, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
I'll see you next time.